Hello guys, it's sketching time with me, Tai Wing. And today we're gonna sketch a really beautiful, intricate black beaded lace dress worn by the fashion icon. Literally, I was screaming when I saw her wore this dress on American Idol. Nope, she was not a contestant. She was one of the judges. The one and only the fashion icon. Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, 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 J-Lo. Oh my God, this was my aha moment. I cannot believe I dressed J-Lo. And this dress is so sexy, but yet so beautiful and intricate. It's see-through, but yet it's not really showing everything. This is my version of the little black dress. It's so beautiful and so special that not only Jennifer Lopez wore it, but also the amazing, so cool, and hilarious Kiki Palmer wore it to the GLAAD Awards. This segment, this special moment was best dress on E! Fashion Police. The amazing, awesome, I'm such a huge fan of her, Margaret Cho, said my name, Tai Nguyen, on E! Fashion Police. Thank you to Kiki Palmer and J-Lo. Let's start sketching. Who's your gown by? Tai Nguyen. This dress made out of this beautiful, beautiful Chantilly black lace from Europe. The pattern is really pretty, really intricate, leafy, viney pattern. There's no beading on the lace. This European lace, it's so special and so intricate. The body, we line it with one layer of black mesh. So you can still see through, but that black mesh inside kind of form the shape of the dress. And it's not so bare. So you can see the difference, like, you know, at the sleeve, there's no black mesh, but the bodice, there's black mesh. So you can still see her skin, but not so much like their sleeves. So basically I use this one Chantilly lace to make the whole dress. And then I use that same lace and I cut out all this leafy pattern. And then I re-embroider onto the important areas. After we re-embroider the cut out pattern on the dress, then I add in all this vertically viney beaded. So it gives that illusion long line. My signature is all about creating that long and lean silhouette. So I love anything that's long and lean, but I didn't want straight line. I want it like very organic, wavy, and mixing all the texture. If you look carefully, there's many different type of beads on these lines. Certain lines are black sequins and certain lines are bugle beads. And it's just creating this like S curve, very sexy, but also long long and lean and elongated your body and yet creating texture on top of this beautiful French lace. I'm all about creating my own texture because anybody can make a black dress. Anybody can make a black lace dress, but why is this dress different than any other dresses in the world? Because I created my own fabrication. I use that lace that you can get that lace. Anybody can buy that lace, but then I cut out the pattern and I re-embroidered. So this only, I created my own pattern for Taiwan Atelier and then that beading was also created by our team for Taiwan Atelier and because every single beaded line is organic it's never the same so you will never get the same dress with the same beading because every line is freehand drawn and freehand beaded and it's very organic and is 
very, very couture, one of a kind. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to sketch this dress with you guys. So again, I have my paper, my sketching pad, and I have the croquis under. I don't want to waste time sketching the croquis. It's there, it's like an, a guideline for me to sketch out the silhouette of the dress. Once again, I start out with my number two pencil. I mentioned about this before in the previous episode. When it comes to French lace or European lace, you have these scallop edges around her neckline and at the sleeves and at the hem. And I love, love, love these scallop details because that's what makes the dress very romantic and very feminine. So at the neckline, it's kind of like a high boat neck. I add in these scallop edges. We have the scallop at the sleeves. And the length is very, very classy. This length is over the knee because the dress is kind of like see-through naked already. You don't want to create a um, like a mini because then it will look really sexy and it might look cheap. At the end of the day, you wear a sexy dress, but you still want to look classy. It looks like an illusion of a crop top and a high-waisted skirt, but it's actually all in one piece. So on JLo, you don't see the back, but on Kiki, you see that back. It's beautiful open back with the scallop, and there's a slit in the back as well. So all that detail you can see with all the beading. Now I'm gonna go in and do skin tone. It's basically a naked dress. So we probably have to do skin tone almost the whole body. Cause JLo, her skin is kind of golden tan and Kiki also kind of golden tan. The sand first and then contour the tan. fill in some more because that marker is a little dry. I think I should throw it away. I think it's time for it to say goodbye to you. Hi. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do the lace pattern in pencil first, and then I'm gonna redefine it with the micro black pen for the lace pattern. It's like this leafy pattern. It's like an abstract pattern, so you can just create any kind of pattern. And it's all over the dress. I love drawing this kind of like lace pattern abstract because basically you're just having fun. Literally, I'm just, I'm not even looking at it and then I can just go at it, put in lines and create this wiggly leafy pattern. Lots of you might wondering why do I do it with pencil first and not just do with a black pen. Actually, when you look at the um, when you look at the detail carefully, like certain part of the lace is thick dark and certain part is thin because the way they embroider it, certain part is cording so it's thicker and certain part is just thread so it's lighter. So the lighter part will be pencil. It's kind of like the shadow of that pattern. And then later on I go back with the micro pen then it will be like the highlight and more definition of that pattern. So there's the dark and the light to it. The pencil is like the shadow of the pen stroke. It's kind of like creating this 3D effect. So I always go in with the pencil first. Lays they embroider on this black mesh. So there's this one layer. I'm gonna go in with this black pencil to create that black mesh texture. And at the sleeve, it's very light. Remember that. Just gently, like an overlay black lace. So at the body, you know, where you see the skin, I'll do it light. But where you see the white, I'm gonna do it darker. The white part is where we re-embroidery the lace pattern more, so you see how it's darker. with this 
clear blender to kind of blend out that black pencil. Going with the black marker to go over where the really black area. So I'm gonna do the lace pattern. When you do the lace pattern with the pencil, the pressure is controlled by you. Certain part you want to press it hard to create it to make it darker and certain part you just lightly lift up because the lace like I told you before, certain part is dark and certain part is light. So the pressure it's controlled by you. that I have the pencil with me, I want to create the, the shadow, like certain part darker and certain part is lighter. It's all depend on the lighting. Definitely on the side are darker. See the edges here are darker. Go in with the 40% cool gray. Just kind of highlight those dark area more. I'm gonna go in with this fine sharpie to fine tune the silhouette, and then I'm gonna go back with this micro point pen to do the lace intricate lace pattern. the lace, the intricate lace pattern at the scallop edges and inside the dress. This darker skin color contouring her body. So in this two photo, you saw JLo wore black pumps and Kiki wore this white strappy shoes. I like the black pumps better. Maybe black Christian Louboutin with the red sole for her. When I was talking about these black beading lines, that's what we're gonna do next throughout the whole dress. Depending on the lighting, like on Kiki Palmer, you can see the, the, the sparkle more with all these white dots, the white dots. But on JLo, you don't see it as much. I'm gonna go in with this white pencil to create the white dots of the sparkle beading. The idea is you have to do it on the black parts for you to see the white dots. this silver nail polish to create that sparkle too. Very little dot. Sparkle is very scatter and random. You don't have to follow a certain pattern. Right, 
that sparkle. All that beading. I want her shoes to be sparkle too, so I'm gonna add in some black nail polish. I think JLo wore like some sparkly black pumps. Red lips. Make sure I don't touch the nail polish. Last but not least, my signature. Clean up time. Just erase all the pencil mark that you don't like. I think we got it. Here's the finished sketch. You see all that sparkle dotted with the lines. Get the lace texture down. We get the skin. Get the silhouette. The sketch. J Lo. Kiki Palmer. My fashion icon, best dress according to E Police. They both in that crazy, crazy, awesome movie Hustler. They on screen together. They wore the same dress from Taiwan Atelier. You just never know what's gonna happen. Life can be very interesting and life is beautiful. So just do what you love, live for fashion, set the trend. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next sketch. Bye. Thank you for taking your valuable time to watch my channel. I know there are many, many different choices out there for you to watch. But since you took out your time to watch my channel, and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And again, be sure to stay true to who you are, be yourself, have fun, life is too short, and live for fashion, set the trend. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next clip.